do. Well, the past couple of years, you've seen a campaign to tear down many of this country's great heroes. The latest victim could be Martin Luther King. David Garrow wrote a Pulitzer Prize-winning biography of King. Now, in a new, sp new piece for Standpoint magazine, Garrow describes newly released FBI documents, which summarize secret recordings the FBI once made of King. The recordings allegedly reveal extensive extramarital affairs, dozens and dozens of them. And one episode where King looked on and laughed while one of his companions raped a woman. Should we reassess our view of Martin Luther King? Jason Nichols is a professor of African American Studies at the University of Maryland. He joins us tonight. So, uh, Professor, thanks a lot for coming on. I'm going to take uh, thanks, Tucker. A, a different position maybe tonight from what you might expect. Uh, I We've seen a whole bunch of different heroes in American history kind of dethroned, and in some cases, literally, their statues knocked over because we learned that they were flawed in their personal lives. Thomas Jefferson, a great example. Does this, I'm assuming all of this is true because we knew some of it before, should it really change how we view Martin Luther, Martin Luther King and his role in American history? Should we knock his statues down because of this? I don't think so. I don't think we should. Well, again, Tucker, I, I think you'd be making a mistake to make the assumption that this is true. David Garrow, as a matter of fact, all of his articles, um, you know, he tried to write this for many for many publications, including right. The Guardian, The Atlantic, The Washington Post. They all rejected it because well, his did. evidence wasn't solid, right. uh, mainly because of the fact that he hadn't heard the FBI tapes. He didn't have access to them. He was going off FBI memos, and these are memos from COINTELPRO, who we know was not trustworthy and wanted to destroy Dr. Okay, King. Okay, then, that, then so, that, look, I'm, I'm, by the way, I'm happy to hear that. I don't, I don't like to think, I, I respect Martin Luther King, and I, I don't want to, I don't want to think these things are true. But, right. you know, we often learn that people we revere sure. for their role in history are deeply flawed. And I, and there is actual evidence that King was deeply flawed. It was a flanderer. I think we can say that. Okay, um, yeah, sure. And, I, I think having, but, but, having extra marital, marital affairs is very different than watching someone be... Well, raped. I agree. I agree with that completely. But I'm just saying, should we define, I just think the principle is worth standing up for. Should we define a man's life by his worst moments, or should we take three steps back and assess his place in the sweep of history? And this is, I'm making the case on behalf of Thomas Jefferson as well as Martin Luther King. Can the standard apply to both of them? Yeah, well, so with, with Dr. King, I will say this. I, I believe that um, we should not tear down all of his statues. E e all of you know, his statues, okay. But, but, but I think one of the things about Dr. King, as great as he was, and he's one of my personal heroes, one of the things about him is that a lot of times his image obscures so many other people in the civil rights movement. And I would say, actually, uh, the most important person to the civil rights movement was not Dr. King, it was Ella Baker. So I think, if anything, if you want to change some things, if some people in a particular community are not comfortable with Dr. King, image, then they should put up other civil rights heroes, particularly local civil rights heroes. Okay. And, you know, I think we have, you know, a Martin Luther King Boulevard in every city in America. And why not have, an, you know, an Ella Baker? I think that's uh, totally, Boulevard. I think that's, that's totally fair. But I just want to end on this. So when your kids get to high school, they will learn that the most important thing about Thomas Jefferson is he may have fathered a child with Sally Hemings. They'll say that he did. We don't actually know that, but they'll say that he did. And that's the most Pretty important certain. thing about it. Maybe, maybe, yeah. I mean, it's sort of hard to know hundreds of years later, but yeah, okay. They'll say that. But they'll kind of leave out the fact that he sort of created the United States. Should your kids also learn that the most important thing about Martin Luther King is that he had a weird personal life? I don't think they should. Like, I, no, I, 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 that's vandalism, isn't it? I 100% agree that, you know, we need to learn everything about, even if we're talking about Thomas Jefferson, some of the good things that he did uh, in creating our republic and some of the bad things. The thing is, we can't leave out the things that he did wrong. And I think, you know, one of the things that we need to understand is, is who our founders were and some of the ideals. And that way we can create a more perfect union. So I, I certainly believe that we should learn uh, about the good things and also not leave out the bad things um, that, you know, our historical figures have, have uh, okay. done in their lives. Fair standard. Professor, great to see you. Thank you. Thanks, Dr.